<laughs> Good morning, evening, friends. Oh, yeah. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> I got a story for you. I got a story for you, and this is why I call this the mental house. Not only do we all have mental issues that we need to address, law, 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 and I'm going to start, I'm going to tell y'all, I'm going to start loading up some of these mental uh, uh, clips that y'all been sending me, and I, and I think I'm going to take the uh, 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 video in a um, show in a different, a little direction. For, for a little while, I'm going to show how crazy we are, okay? Um, whether you call the people Karens or whether you call them nuts or what, whatever the hell you call them, I want to show you just how crazy uh, we are. And part of why I call this the mental house, okay? I want to show y'all. I want to put the mirror on our lives and just show you how damn crazy some of us really, really freaking are. Um, and and so, which brings me to this story right here. Reminds me of... Um, there's a funeral home here called OB's Funeral Home. OB had to close down because he was involved with a lot of necrophilia. And this was a black man, for those of y'all who want to know. It wasn't a white man. It was a black man. And they had one of the most famous and one of the most... Um, well, all the black bodies went to OB. Let's put it like that. So they had to break... Once that happened... It just throw the whole city out of whack, and I'll probably do. I'll I'll, I'll tell you exactly what happened. Um, but I haven't heard of anything like that since Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer was practicing necrophilia. Okay, and that's for these freaks that like to have sex with dead bodies. Some people, you know, it's all kinds of people here. It's all kinds. Of, this is a cesspool. When you understand that Satan is in control of a cesspool, this is what you have. Satan runs this ship. Okay, whenever you get through. Now, you can take it or leave it alone. All right, mother of victim of morgue rape is caused for hospital boss to resign. The mother of one of the victims of a morgue rapist, David Fuller, is campaigning for the boss of the hospital where Fuller seriously, serially abused corpses undetected for 12 years to resign. So, oh Lord. The body of Azra Kamel was raped three times in July 2020 in the morgue of Tunbridge Wells Hospital by Fuller, a hospital electrician who is known to have violated at least 100 corpses between 2008 and 2010. Nubis Kamal, a key whistleblower in the baby peace scandal inherited in 2007, is furious about what happened to her daughter and is demanding the resignations of Miles Scott, the chief executor of Maidstone and Tunbridge NHS Trust. Scott needs to go. That man must not uh, wait to be thrown out. He needs to walk. At a meeting she had with Scott, she says he admitted that he is responsible for what goes on at the trust and account supported by another hospital official of present. She said accountability starts with the man at the top. He is responsible, but he doesn't want to lose his fancy job. I'm asked where it go. The shit trickles downstream. At last, the government bowed to call Kamal and others to hold public inquiry into what went wrong and replaced an internal inquiry by the trust with an independent inquiry chaired by Jonathan Michael. Kamal said they were pushing into holding a public inquiry. How can an organization investigate itself over something that is so horrendous, she asked. She said that the issues involved were relatively straightforward. I want to know how on earth could they let this happen? But there's a simple answer. They didn't check security? Why aren't the dead afforded proper security that is checked? He, Fuller, went into all these morgues thousands of times. That obviously should have raised some kind of damn alarm. Kamal is jaded by her experience 14 years ago. Um, at Heronway, 
when a social worker, she warned the council and the government that baby P was not being properly protected six months before he died. Instead of acting on her concerns, the council issued an injunction against her and banning her from speaking out about child care. I just don't trust any system anymore after the baby P debacle, she said. It's always the same with everybody uh, in every bloody inquiry, whether you have to push people out or it becomes so obvious that they just have to go. That's right. What America is going to put up with this craziness until, uh, you know, there's a race war. Um, and, and this is what you can tell is being pushed. Uh, somebody wants this shit to go down. Somebody want us, wants it to look like it did in the 1800s. And y'all can keep fooling yourself if you want to. Oh, no, no, no. This, we can, like, like, like letting them people go. Uh, and not making a bill out a big deal out of what happened uh, January 6th. Can't you see the writing on the wall? The, 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 the Republican Party is not just a Republican. It's a white nationalist party. It's a supremacist party. Who don't see it? And I'll be glad when y'all do what y'all gonna do to Tim Scott, Uncle Remus. So he can run his ass out of there and then be a person without a country. Because we don't want him no more. Tim Scott, y'all can have his ass. Cameron over there in Kentucky, we can have him too. We don't want him. Okay? But it's going to be the same, same bloody shit. These people are sick. And the systems that govern this institution that's called America are even sicker. She also wants to see sentences for necrophilia increase from the current maximum of two years to a minimum of ten years. Ugh. Can you imagine? She said, it doesn't matter what Sir Jonathan or Sir whatever says. I want Scott to go. The extent of Fuller's abuse only emerged earlier this month after he pleaded guilty to sexually assaulting and murdering Wendy Nell and Caroline Pierce in Tunbridge, Wales. Kamal never uses Fuller's name. I call him insignificant because I don't want to call him by his name. You know. I mean, this is crazy. This is just absolutely insane. Ezra, who worked for Sky News and was about to train as a lawyer, was killed in July last year after falling through after falling through a gap in the motorway bridge over the midway while fleeing from a burning car. October's visit by two female officers reminded Camilla of being told of her daughter's death. When she was told Azra had been raped three times in the morgue, all hells broke loose. I can't describe the rage I felt. And um, her daughter was 26 years old. All right, let me finish this because Miss Jackie is just not cooperating and she wants me to hurry up. So, uh, let me let me just finish this story because it's just so, oh, so disgusting to me. Um, it says she was in, okay. Um, again, I told you, she said, told her she was all hell broke loose. I can't um, describe the rage I felt. She was informed that the first assault happened hours before she had um, been to her see her daughter in the mortuary. She didn't look at peace, and now I know why. Kamal, who was speaking on what would have been a re uh, Azra's 26th birthday, 
said her daughter would have wanted her to speak out. She never kept her mouth shut, so I'm determined to fight for Azra. People don't like um, speaking about death, never mind raping the dead, because it taps into people's fears, but I have to speak up. She added, I may be seen as a nobody, but I'm Azra's mom, and that's a somebody. The proudest thing in my life was to be mom to Azra. Maystone and Tunbridge NHS Trust referred to the statement issued by Scott earlier this month in which he apologized to the families for Fuller's victims and said that he was determined to see if there are any lessons to be learned or the sims or the system uh to be put in place. What? What? <laughs> okay. I don't think that we should be expecting um, there's too much to ask for not our uh, loved ones to be raped uh, by the morticians and stuff that's in the hospital with them. But you know what? Y'all don't care because a lot of y'all don't even want to deal with the dead. Uh, you don't even want to deal with the living. So ain't no sense in even talking about the dead. All right. With that being said. You like what you hear? Give me your comment on this. What you think? Do you know of any uh, people or, or, or any um, funeral homes that have been practicing necrophilia? Have you, have you ever even heard of it, first of all? A lot of y'all ain't even never heard of necrophilia. Let me just go ahead and start right there. In case you don't know, it's having sexual intercourse with dead bodies. Jeffrey Dahmer made it real, real, real famous, right? Right in this town right here. All right, subscribe and share.